Hello folks, so today we're going to talk cameras, no no, not these cameras, although I do have a video on what gear I use somewhere further back in the channel, but no, today we're talking about CCTV cameras, or closed circuit televisions, for those who don't know what it means. Now all that basically means is you are recording and broadcasting your own video within a closed network basically I had, had quite a few questions on my setup so here we go i'm going to try and explain it for you today so i run a six camera setup on this van i'll show you where they are to start with you've got one at the top left corner facing forwards one at the top right corner two on the back at the top one is pointing out and one is pointing directly down. One at the back at the bottom pointing directly out and one at the front at the top pointing forwards. So why have we got so many? Well, they're two separate systems. So I have a driving system and I have a system for when I'm in, like, in the back and stationary. So all of the cameras on the top, are, all of the cameras on the roof, they all feed together uh, along the roof and down into the van through a hole which is absolutely caked in sealant. Um, I couldn't be bothered to buy another gland, which I should have done really, but oh well, here we are. And they feed down into this little switch panel. Um, the bottom switches aren't relevant, they're for some other lights, I'll show you them another time. Uh, but the top switch, that powers so that turns on the cameras and turns on the monitor all at the same time. So normally these cameras, you use them for like reversing um, and they'd be switched, the power would be switched from your reverse light bulb or something. But obviously, because I'm not using them for that, I've bypassed them and ran all the power leads directly into this switch. So it's all off one button. Um, and then this just has a 12 volt source from the battery coming up to the back of here. Obviously the cameras use hardly any power whatsoever, so it's quite easily done that way. You don't need relays or anything. Um, so you flick the monitor on and it gives you a, a four-way cross-section of all the four cameras that are used in the back. So you can see the views starting from the top left. We've got the front facing camera. Top right is the rear one that's facing directly out. The bottom left is the, if you're sitting in the driver's seat, it's the left hand side of the van, but it's it's flipped around because it's all got a bit weird and I'm not sure how to flip it, but it doesn't really bother me anyway. Uh, and then bottom right is the other side, the driver's side. But you can see how the, the side ones are angled so that I can just see the edges of the doors. Um, and because they're they're on the side, it gives me a huge, I can almost see all the way down the side of the van. Uh, as opposed to having them mounted like the top two, where it's straight out, how they're meant to be mounted, basically. So th this is why it's a bit skew with, but I sort of I can look at it. I know what's going on. You soon get used to it. It's not that big of a deal. So you can see it's it's a pretty good picture. Um, it's getting dark now. It's not quite dark, but it's not far off. Um, they do have night vision as well, um, which I'll patch in now. They're powered. They have the inbuilt infrared LEDs that work pretty well. You, obviously, you get a black and white image, but you can see in the dark effectively. That's the main reason why I got them, is so that I can see outside at night. I mean, during the day, it's handy to have them. If you just want to have a quick look, the main reason was for the night stuff. Obviously, when it's pitch black outside, when you're in the middle of nowhere, um, that's all you've got. So, if, you know, if you look at the top, you can't see anything unless you start whacking torches on whereas this gives me like a stealthy way to see what's happening say if i hear some noises outside the van or whatever i can just flip these on with this set you can also cycle through the individual cameras if you need to get a, a bigger picture of each one um so cycle through them now And you can also, if you press the mode button, you can choose 
how you want the screen split. <clears throat> There's various ways that you can have it. I prefer the uh, four-way split because you know it's just makes more sense but if you want a two-way split or a three-way split there's options there um, the other two cameras so the driving side they are automatically turned on when I turn on the ignition um, I can switch it off if I want to like if I'm driving at night and it's annoying me uh, I can just switch the monitor off the reason I have two cameras up the front uh, the one it's on now is the one directly facing down now that's good for when you're backing up into places and things like that that you can get it right up against the wall within like an inch obviously without bumping it um and for a van like mine it's pretty big like you can't gauge it just from mirrors i don't care who you are you just can't so when you're traveling alone like me and you don't have you know your partner or whatever with you to spot you at the back this is the only way to do it realistically so i have that one directly pointed down and then the one on the foot plate underneath the van points out and i usually have this one running all the time while i'm driving because this almost acts like my rear view mirror um so what it shows what i can't see in my mirrors but it's also good you know for a quick glance See what's going on behind or whatever um it works pretty well one other benefit that i've noticed from uh from this lower camera which i didn't really think about because it's quite a wide view it's nearly 180 degrees and it's not quite when i'm pulling out in junctions and things it, when i'm driving on the opposite side of the road obviously over here in europe you when you're traveling alone in an english vehicle some junctions are just completely blind and what this camera does if i swing further around to the right than i normally would when i'm about to pull out i can actually see what's coming down the road through the rear camera sometimes it, it really helps because you just can't see through your mirrors another happy accident you know how much i like those that's pretty much all there is to it to be honest it's not complicated i'll put a link if i can find the original seller uh, last time I looked, they weren't listed anymore. Um, not sure if I bought the only one. I doubt it because it's you know quite a common thing. But there's no end of these on eBay, like these exact same cameras. I've not found many as a set of four, but I'll have a look. I'll see if I can find the same ones. But like my camera at the front, I got that as a twin pack, and I've seen you can get three packs and four packs. You can get like all sorts. There's so many options. Just all you need to type in on eBay is like car reversing camera kit, and that's pretty much it. This was a hundred pound for the one in the back uh, with the four cameras, the screen, all the wires and stuff that you need. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully that uh, sheds a bit of light on the subject for you. And and if you've got any other questions, just fire them away in the comments, and I will do my best to answer them. So yeah, thanks again. And I'll uh, catch you in a bit.